Hey, what's going on everybody? I am the Lone Wolf and welcome back to the channel. I know it's already been, I think like almost two weeks or maybe even three weeks since I've posted a video, but I am back. I am sorry for the wait and here we are again on Farming Simulator 2019. In today's video, I will be looking at the in-game medium tractors of Farming Simulator 19. In the last video, we looked at the small tractors. So, without further ado, let's just hop right in with this classic looking tractor, which looks really awesome. The 7250 Case IH Pro Series. Now, like in the first video, all these are in the most expensive packages. If I do forget one, a couple things or one thing, uh, please don't roast me in the comments about it. I mean, if I forgot something, it's just because a lot of these have a lot of different configurations, and if I do miss it, I am I apologize. So yeah, let's start with the Case IH 7250 Pro Series. It's a nice twin, some floater twins, bracketed. I love the bracketed duels like this. It looks really cool. Uh, yeah, but this is just a very nice, uh, powerful tractor in the uh, larger size that looks more for a classic farm. But yes, in the medium tractors slot, right underneath the small tractors, you'll find it in the first slot. 125 kilowatts and 170 base horsepower, 445 liter fuel tank, 24 mile per hour, max speed, and $98,000 base price. Uh, Trelleborg or Michelin are the two tire options. In Trelleborg, you can have either standard, wide tires for an extra two, rear twins for 4,000, full twins for 6,000, narrow tires for 1,000, rear narrow twin wheels for 2,500, narrow full twins, which I think looks super dope, for 5,000, Wheel weights for 1,000, and then wide tires with weights for an extra 3,000. In Michelin tires, you can have standard, wide tires for 3,000, rear twins for 6,000, full twins for 8,000. So full twins in the Michelin brand are the most expensive with the 8,000. Now, on engine setups, however, you, have, you start with the 7210 Pro, which has the 170 horsepower. If you bump it up to a 7230, you don't have a 7220, which I, I find quite odd. You add $22,000 and bump it up to 214 horsepower and 157 kilowatts. Then you can go up to the 7240 Pro, which adds $42,500 and bumps it up to 188 kilowatts and 255 horsepower. And finally, with the 7250 Pro, you have an extra $45,500 and make it 192 kilowatts and 261 horsepower. So with the Michelin full twins and the 7250 addition in the engine, the final and uh, total price for this tractor is $151,500. Now, you take that and compare it to the um, Fent, and the, or the Valtra, I should say, in the small tractors that we looked at last uh, video. When you put this at its maximum price, which is like this, hang on, rear twin, or wide tires with weights, there, this is 155. So, the largest small tractor is bigger and more powerful, or more expensive, than the smallest medium tractor in-game. But yeah, enough of that. Sorry, I just wanted to explain that. That's kind of odd. Yeah, it's actually got... It actually is very large compared to the other uh, medium tractors. It's just that it's not as powerful as them. But yeah, inside it's quite simple since it's a classic tractor. You've got a nice cloth seat. You got the uh, plastic all around there. You've got the radio and air conditioning and fans and wiper blade stuff up there. You've got your hydraulics. It's actually quite nice for a classic tractor. And you've got all the dials on by the steering wheel. And you even got a uh, bonnet mirror up on the top there. Yeah, let's start this thing up and see how it sounds. Very nice sounding tractor. I'm actually going to turn up vehicle volume just a little bit. Yeah, that sounds better. Yeah, on this tractor, you have the three-point in the back, you can see. And, uh, of course, it can have a PTO, and it has a, a hitch for just regular things, trailers. And then you've got the front three-point, or front linkage. 
Those are extremely helpful, especially with, unlike the first video, I have Seasons, the Seasons mod. I will explain that in another video, but there are already a bunch of videos on YouTube that explain it. So yeah, with that, you can actually have a snow plow on the front, and this tractor is one of my favorite to use a snow plow with. Yeah, let's see how this baby runs. Sounds very nice when it's accelerating. I'm not actually going to be doing that turn radius thing because I know my mom told me that some people may get very dizzy easily when you're going so fast in just a circle. So I'm not going to be doing that anymore. But yeah, also another thing, I mean, since I'm new with YouTube, I've kind of forgot to explain some certain things about farming simulator tractors. If you, I'm playing on PS4 right now, so I've got a DualShock 4 controller. If you hold R1, which is the top trigger on the right, and you press the circle button while holding that, you turn your lights on. And a lot of tractors will have multiple different light options. Like this one has front, front and rear, and then front bright and rear. And also, if you hold R1, hang on, do I have invert Y on? I think I... Wait a second. I think I have invert Y on. I don't like that. There we go. Um, if you hold R1 and you use the D-pad and you press up on it, you will turn your hazards on, which are the flashers on top. Now, if you hold the R1 and press the right D-pad, you will turn your blinker on. You can see it kind of flashing there. It's kind of hard to see. There we go. And then you can also do the left blinker. Okay, I did that wrong. I think I, I just must not be used to it or something. Yeah, there we go. I wish there was like an invert X look. Because I don't like how you press down and it goes up and you press up and it goes down. That's weird. But yes, let's turn that blinker off. And we will get this turned off. Now, the nice thing about this tractor, it is really cool because... The in-game large tractor, the uh, largest standard Case IH tractor in the game, is the Case Magnum series. And if you look at this, this is a medium tractor, and up on the roof here, it actually says Magnum right there. So this is technically a classic John Deere Magnum series. And also, I will show you another mod, but I will not go into detail with it. In the medium tractors, there is something called the uh, Modern Classics DLC, and it has this tractor added into it, which is the um, classic Maxim series tractor, which I find very cool how they have both the Maxim and Magnum series tractors in classic form in this game. But yeah, you can see I have a lot of mods downloaded. I will go through them later on. So yeah, let's move on to our next tractor. Yes, it took me a long time just to get through that first one, but it will go faster from now on. This is the New Holland T6, I believe. This is the T6175. And you can see I've got the front linkage with the front PTO. That also makes it very helpful for uh, running like mowers on the front of these tractors. It is very uh, helpful. Uh, it's just a very nice small size tractor. You've got the uh, three point uh, in the back plus the PTO and hitch. Bracketed duels on here. Uh, beacons, you got the side mirrors. Very nice, and you also have a front loader attacher on here. This right here, and that right there is a front loader attacher. Yeah, in the in-game uh, store, you can find it in medium tractors, second slot. 92 kilowatts and 125 base horsepower, so compare that to that uh, classic tractor. It is quite a bit less. 31 mile per hour max speed. Uh, and $102,000 base price. So that's why I love this Case IH over this uh, New Holland, because it's more powerful, it's cheaper, and it almost, to me, it looks better. Uh, no no offense to any, but, any like avid New Holland fans in the, in the audience. But yeah, in the wheel setups, you can have either Trelleborgs or Nokians. Nokians are only communal, which adds just 1000 uh, in Trelleborgs, you can have standard, wheel weights for 1,200, wide tires for 2,000, wide tires with weights for 3,000, narrow tires for 1,000, rear twins for 4, and twin wheels for 6. Alex, I will take twin wheels for 6,000. 
I, if only that amount of money was available on Jeopardy in one question. But in engine setups, you can either have the T6 125, which obviously 125 is the amount of horsepower, the 155, which adds 15,000 and makes it obviously 114 kilowatts and 155 horsepower. Uh, T6-175, which is the highest, you can add $25,000 and make it 129 kilowatts and 175 horsepower. And of course, you can add a front loader attacher for $1,500. So that's what it looks like when it is at its uh, highest price. Uh, $134,500 with all the bells and whistles. So inside, I love the interior of these tractors, the New Holland ones. You've got a blue buddy seat a blue standard seat and then of course you've got the panel roof that panel roof is so awesome even though i do not like how this stuff is on the side the you know the air conditioner and radio and all that kind of stuff i always am used to because my dad he actually owns a 4230 a john deere i think it's like 1971 or two something like that sorry dad if i don't know i know you've probably told me uh like a hundred times but the air conditioner the blower and the radio are up right in the center on the uh, ceiling of the tractor. So I'm get, I get used to that, and then if I don't see it in a tractor, it's like it's not natural for me. But yeah, and then also we have, this is a modern tractor, obviously. You've got more dials in the back here. You've got your power shifting. Uh, you've got your throttle. I love that throttle handle there. And then you've got a monitor plus a bonnet mirror, a couple of them. Um, and then... You got some. I wish that these in-game tractors you could open the windows, because some mods you can actually open the windows and doors, but some of the in-game tractors you cannot. But yeah, so let's start this thing up and see how it sounds. It rumbles very nice. I mean, it, I'm not sure if I can say it sounds like a gas. I mean, I guess it, it obviously sounds like a gas, but it's. Uh, I know it's a diesel. So, it sounds more like a gas to me, I guess I should say. Well, I almost hit the 6R. I don't want to do that. I do not disrespect deer. I do not disrespect deer. Please don't roast me in the comments for that either. But yeah, it drives very nice. And then, that's what it looks like when the monitor's on. The monitor does not work on consoles. I know on PC, you can actually have some stuff where the monitors are easier to read and they actually do things. You know, like they actually give different readings. Yeah, that is the T6. And if you are playing on PlayStation and you just got Farming Simulator, there's a very good chance that a card came in the game box for a free DLC package, which is the T6 Blue Power. And it is in medium tractors. I will just look at this very quickly. It is this one right here. It is pretty much the exact same as the T6 itself. It's just got a much better look to it. It's got the metallic dark blue on it, and it's got the um, metal colored rims. But yeah, everything is the same with like wheel setups and stuff like that. Uh, 175, 155, front loader attacher, all that. But the maximum, I'm just going to go through it. The maximum price for this, at, with everything added onto it, is $139,500. But yeah, sorry to go into that one. That was not supposed to happen. I mean, I just kind of wanted to, just to uh, promote Farming Simulator, because I love the game. On to our next tractor, we have the Case IH Maxim Series. This is the modern Maxim Series. Uh, I'm not sure if these uh, newer ones actually say Maxim on the front, like um, classic ones. They always say them on the side like this. But yeah, this is the Case IH Maxim 145. It's pretty... M this one, the New Holland T6, this one, uh, the Steyr Profi, um, and I think quite a bit of the medium tractors, they have a lot of very similar... Or similar, similar, really similar configurations. Like same type of engine setups, same type of uh, front loaders, same wheel setups, all that, and it's very similar in price. Just of course, uh, different brands get higher prices. Like Deer, a lot more expensive. But yeah, this is in the third slot of the in-game store. One hundred seven 
kilowatts to 145 base horsepower, 250 liters of fuel to 39 liters of def. Sorry, I did not mention it's 250 liters and 32 liters of def for that T6. I did not mention that earlier. 31 mile per hour max speed. Trelleborgs or Nokians? Nokians are always only communal. I mean, except for one mod. I know I know I do have a mod where there is either communal or multi-purpose tires. I think it was actually on like a telehandler or something, which um, I will be obviously looking over telehandlers in a pretty far future video. Yeah, in Trelleborgs, you can have either standard uh, wheel weights for 1,200, uh, wide tires for 2,000, Wide tires and weights for 3,000, narrow tires for 1,000, rear twins for 4,000, and full twins for 6,000. Just like the T6 New Holland. And sorry, I, my controller, the right joystick's got like a little tick to it, where sometimes you'll see the screen, it'll go like this very slowly. It's because something's uh, like wrong with the joystick and it'll actually move without you doing it. It kind of gets irritating when you can't get it to stop, but we can make it past that. Uh, Maxim CVX 115 uh, is the base engine. If you make it 125, it goes to 5,000 extra and makes it 155 horsepower and 114 kilowatts. 135 makes it 12,000 extra dollars and 125 kilowatts to 169 horsepower. Oh, and 145 adds 15,000 and makes it 129 kilowatts and 175 horsepower. If you add a front loader attacher for 1,500, you will be at your total price of $134,500. And if I am correct, I think that is actually the same exact... Yep, it is the same exact price as the fully modif modified New Holland T6. So that is actually quite cool, because that makes it so... Minus horsepower differences, because the maximum for this is... Oh, 175? Is that is that the same? It is exactly the same. The only thing that's different is fuel tank size. That is awesome. These are pretty much this di two different brands, but they are identical tractors. That is so cool. But if you hop in here, I love the... Uh, I don't like these this front of it. I don't like how it looks like it's got like spider eyes. I don't like that at all. Uh, the... I know there's like a Vest Vestrum series and the Optum series. They both have, along with this uh, Maxim, they all have the, those weird like spider eye... Uh, headlights but yeah inside it's kind of similar it's got a little oh nay, dang it, it does not have any red who does that they gave you a cup holder so that kind of makes up for the not giving me a decent color uh, combination inside I mean look at that it's a case there is literally no red there is more blue look at the screen of the radio there's more blue than there is red but yeah as you can see it is very similar to the um uh, T6, it's just a little bit different, especially if, like with color combinations and everything. It looks like with that little box behind the buddy seat, you can actually have a cooler to put your delicious ice cold Mountain Dew in the cooler while you are in the field. Yeah, let's start this thing up. This sounds like a million times better than the New Holland. No offense, New Holland fans. I love New Holland. I do. I love blue, I love everything about New Holland, but I just like Case a little bit more. I I mean, a lot of people that I know like Case, because Case and John Deere are probably the main two brands in um, America, because you think about it, there's always two, like, two main brands of everything in the world. I mean, you have Samsung and iPhone with... Um, what it, I don't know any other phone, really any other phone brands. And there's always one off to the side that's still a major brand, but it just can't keep up. John Deere and Case, I believe, are the two, uh, like, really high-class brands in America. With New Holland, Challenger, uh, f not really Fent. Fent's more of a uh, European thing. But yeah, New Holland and Challenger... Those are the other brands that are kind of like sitting off to the side, but they are still extremely popular. And Massey Ferguson, that was the other one. That was what I was wanting to say. I mean, this, Massey Ferguson is definitely not as popular as uh, John Deere and Case, but still, it is a it is a major brand. Yeah, let's drive this thing around. I love the panel roof. I love panel roofs. I cannot. 
tell you how much I love those things. But yeah, I also got some feedback from my uh, a friend of mine who told me, you got to sound a little more enthusiastic in your video. Because I know in my first video when I started out, it was just like, what's going on everybody? I am the Lone Wolf and welcome to my brand new channel. I mean, I, I like that because it kind of sounds, I guess, pr technically professional. But I don't want to sound professional. A lot of people want to have an entertaining voice uh, commentating the video they're watching. But yeah, sorry about that. Once again, I keep getting off course. Uh, now we move on to the Styre Profi 4145. This has got probably uh, the number two spot of my least favorite tractor in medium tractors. Uh, probably next to like this uh, ST Max or St. Max, however you want to say it. But it does have a front PTO, so that is very helpful for um, like mowers and everything. And then you've got uh, rear linkage. Uh, I think it's got a partial no it does not have a panel roof panel roofs are the ones like um hang on where's one like this where there is no frame like um not much frame break between each window i know in the small tractors i think it was what the lidner was it the lidner no which one was it i know there was one that had like a fully panel roof but i just can't think of which one it was Hmm. Was it the Stara? No. Huh. Must not have been... I mean, the Valtra does have kind of like a panel roof because it just got like a little bit of frame break, but still. I know there was one where it's like it's a completely panoramic roof. Maybe it's these. Maybe, is it this? There we go. That is a complete panel roof where there is absolutely zero uh, frame break. This is the tractor I will look at when I'm reviewing the Platinum Expansion DLC, so don't look at it too much. Yeah, let's go into the Star Profi 4145. It is in the fourth slot. Uh, Profi CVT, 112,000 base price, 107 kilowatts and 145 horsepower, 210 liters of fuel, 39 liters of def, with 31 mile per hour max speed. Once again, look at that. It is very similar setup to the um, New Holland and Case that came before it. Trelleborgs, Nokians. Nokians are only communal for an extra thousand. Trelleborgs, standards, tw uh, wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires with weights, narrow tires, rear twins, and full twins. Profi 4115 to 4145 makes it 100, 129 kilowatts and 175 liters or hor sorry horsepower for an extra 5,000 and front loader attacher and that makes this Steyr Profi literally another thing that's identical to that case that case and New Holland just obviously different branding and different body setup but this is a lot cheaper 124,500 uh, but it is the same horsepower same uh, quite a bit of everything so let's hop in inside I don't like it too much. It almost looks like it's cramped because it looks like my uh, stomach would be pushed up against that uh, steering wheel. But yeah, overall, you can really see this is extremely similar to the uh, Case New Holland. Except the, uh, I like the Case because it has that uh, uh, Mountain Dew cooler in the back there. But yeah, let's start this up. Styre Profi 4145. Don't really like the sound. I mean, it's good, but... It's not, I'm not a huge fan of Steyr. I mean, um, there is a mod where it's the K7200 series where you can actually make a Steyr, and it's like a classic one. I like those a lot more, but that's probably just because I like the body style of the um, case. I like it, the sound of it when it's accelerating. And about that uh, dizziness thing I apologize if I made anybody dizzy when they're watching the video previously because I will admit I was kind of getting dizzy just watching myself because when I was editing this I'm watching it over and over like 12 times so it's like I got dizzy just watching it uh, spin around and around like 100 times but yeah that is the style I know I didn't really spend much time on that but that was just because I'm, I'm not a huge fan but now, we move into the first of all my videos, the John Deere 6M series. I think this is 6135. 
6155. This is very detailed. The deer is a lot more detailed. Yeah, it's still got the bracketed duels. I kind of wish they had hub duels. But this has got the weights on it, which is, I think, let me just take a guess before I look at it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I think I counted 18. So that should be 1,800 pounds. Each of these should weigh 100 pounds. Uh, you've got uh, just the rear linkage. You do not have a front PTO. You do have a few hydraulics on here, which looks really cool. You've got the two up there, two up there. You got one there, and then you've just got a nice big hitch system. You've got a uh, pin there, you've got a ball hitch there, and you've got the um, three point right there. But yeah, John Deere 6M. Let's look at this. It's in the fifth slot. 104 kilowatts to 142 horsepower, 265 liter fuel tank, 24 mile per hour max speed, $119,500 max or base price. Standard configuration, you can have either 360, 560, 760, 1,100 uh, weights. Uh, 1,100 kilograms, I think that's about 1,800 pounds, isn't it? I don't know right now. I'll have to uh, look that up. I'll, it'll probably be on the screen because I usually record the video, and if I make a mistake, I'll put it on the screen when I'm editing, so I probably will have the um, uh, configuration for that. Uh, wheel brands can be either Trelleborg or Nokian. Uh, Nokians you know about. Uh, wheel setups can either be standard, wide tires, narrow tires, rear twins, full twins, wheel weights, wide tires with weights. And of course, um, those twins, I don't like them as much, but I, the rear twins, that does look nice on that uh, 6M. It looks very nice. But um, engine setups, 61,000, or six, 135M. To a 6145M adds uh, $5,500 and makes it 113 kilowatts and 153 horsepower. And 6155M adds 11,000 and makes it 121 kilowatts and 164 horsepower. With all that added, the weights, the brand of the tires, and the full twins, plus the engine setup, makes the maximum price for this tractor $138,250. Now, I will tell you guys. John Deere takes up a lot of slots in my game. Because if you go into the garage, just the deer is taking up 41 slots, and then this deer is taking up 41 slots. So I will be actually transferring over to PC probably after I get some of these videos up. Because I actually start college here pretty soon at the uh, near the end of um, August. So once it's the end of August, I will be needing a, a laptop, so I might actually start uh, playing and recording on my uh, laptop. So it will be it will be on the P line of PC, so it will you won't have that pesky slot count right up next to the balance. So you can buy 156 M's, 250 Maxims, and 100,000 John Deere items in general. Yeah, let's check this thing out. This thing sounds very nice when it starts up. Interior, I love it. I love this tan, and they kind of try and put green on the seat. I'm kind of colorblind, so if that's green, comment down below. Just say, dude, it's green. Just know it. But yeah, you've got a lot more some modern stuff in here. Just because it's a deer, um, you don't really have a radio. Okay, this is a travesty. Are you kidding me? You give me a beautiful John Deere tractor, and you don't even give me a radio? If any, that's, forget about the previous thing I said to comment. Comment down below whether or not a John Deere 6M has a radio inside and where it is. Because usually I'm used to I, I, either being up in the middle here or up on the side here. There is no flipping radio. Let's start this thing up. That sounds like a very nice, small size diesel tractor. I love it. Speed up! Speed up! Love it! Don't run into the R-Series. R-Series is where it's at. Let's just back it up from here. Geez, I'm worse at backing up in the game than I am in real life. My gosh. 
Very small sunroof. That is one thing that could be improved. They could literally take out this right here and just make it a like corner frame, corner frame, and make this a panel roof. I would love the 6M, and I would use it a lot more often if it had that panel roof on it. I mean, I never use the panel roof very often, but still, it's very nice to have. Now we move on to our uh, la second orange tractor of my series, the Star at St. Max 180. This has a small amount of weights on the front. I don't know why you can't just fill up the entire bracket, but um, unless I don't have the right configuration on. You have your hydraulics in the back here. You got your three-point, you got your pin hitch, you got your uh, ball hitch, and I just don't like this tractor at all. I will say the only star thing I like is the sprayer, which I will look at, which is in crop protection. I will look at it later. I'm going to try and make a video for every single one here, and if it's something small, like this one, there's only two in-game things. I'll probably mix in like the cars, uh, skid steers, telehandlers, and miscellaneous. I mean, I might even do all of the wheel f front loader, wheel loader, telehandlers, skid steers, cars, and miscellaneous. But some of this stuff, there's actually quite a bit in the in there, so I'll actually just go through those individually. But yeah, this Stara. St. Max is right here. It's um, 132 kilowatts, 180 horsepower. 180 horsepower is the base horsepower, but it is the only horsepower you can get. 280 liter fuel tank, 24 mile per hour max speed, $110,000 base price. The, see, as you can see, there's not much configuration you can do to this. All you can do is either standard, wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires with weights, narrow tires, rear twins, and full twins. Full twins at six thousand and makes the maximum price for this one hundred and sixteen thousand dollars. Not much to go through with this star, and they don't give much either. I mean, the inside. I mean, what kind of buddy seat is that? Unless it folds down, that is probably the most uncomfortable buddy seat I have ever seen, except for the one in the Lindner Unitrack from the previous video. Now, very plain. Not much detail on these, or not much uh, to give from these hydraulics and switches. I love, I do like the orange monitor, just like in the uh, smaller St. Max. The orange pedal, same. Uh, let's start this up and see what we can do so we can get onto a better tractor. No offense, if you like Stara, I've heard it's a very good company. I'm not bashing you or anything. I'm just saying what I think. Now, see that engine is actually the same as the Fent 500 favorite engine. I love the engine sound though. Now we're going to start parking these over here. We'll start going at this angle. Now, we move on to the Valtra S series, I th think. Is this the S series? T series! Dang it! I always mix that up. Front PTO, once again, a great tractor for mowing. I do like this Valtra. Um, it's just the perfect size for mowing and everything. Uh, you've got a uh, pretty darn close to a panel roof, like I mentioned. Now, this one is very interesting while driving. I will show you in a second. It's after, of course, the St. Max T series. 140, 54 kilowatts and 210 horsepower, 380 liters of fuel to 70 liters of def, 31 mile per hour max speed, $175,000 base price. Now, you probably have already read this while I was reading that stuff out loud to you, that this tractor can attach a front loader and is equipped with reverse drive control. I will show you that later, and I will use that while I am backing up. Oh, I accidentally forgot to... Where is it? Went back when I wasn't wanting to. Now, main color changes $1,500. Rim color adds $300. Trelleborgs are Nokians. Trelleborgs have standard wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires and weights, narrows, rear twins and full twins. T194 at, to two, T234 adds 20000 and makes it 184 kilowatts to 250 horsepower. And that is the only engine configuration you can have. If you add a front loader attacher for 1500 you have your first uh, medium tractor to bump over the maximum price of 200000 with a $204,300 tractor. 
startup of this. Sounds very nice, honestly. I'm not sure. That little round thing on top, I'm thinking that that might be like an AFS system, but um, I'm not really sure. Inside, it's plain, but it's nice. It seems very organized, okay? And I love that mirror back there, because you can actually see the 7210, which is sitting right over there. You can see that in that mirror. And uh, there's the radio. It has a radio this time. It has a no cup holder. Are you kidding me? There's no cup. Okay, there is a cup holder over there. Okay. But yeah, you can see. I am. I can drive forward right now. But. I think it. Is it, is it triangle? Which one is. Tr which one is switch drive mode? I'm kind of confused about that. I'll have to turn on the help window to help me. Okay, there we go. Press X to change driving direction. And look at that. Isn't that cool? Now that when I press the accelerator, you're actually going backwards. That is probably the coolest thing I have ever seen on Farming Simulator. I mean, look at that. And you can actually see. I mean, it's weird because when you're doing it, when you're seeing it in first per or third person, you just disappear and the seat turns around. But that is still very cool. And look at that. It's like I'm driving a forklift. I'm going backwards. This is awesome. Now I press the accelerator and I go backwards. That is so cool. I don't know why you would need that, honestly. I will say, I don't know why you would need reverse control like that unless you're using this and trying to back into a tight space, but you could use that for literally any tractor. And it keeps you in that mode all the time. See? Until you switch it personally, it will always stay in reverse drive. Now, enough with that. I mean, I love that tractor, but now we have to move on to another big brand. We've got the Massey Ferguson 7700 series. This is very nice. It's got the front control for, or front uh, 3.4. Great. This is a great tractor for snow plowing, but then it's also got the uh, rear. I don't think this has a panel roof. Oh, it doesn't even have a sunroof in any way. What a chip. But yeah, this tractor is found in the... Wait a second, I lost my number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth slot. 154,000... Or 154 kilowatts, 210 horsepower base, 430 liters of fuel to 40 liters of depth, 31 mile per hour max speed, $176,000 base price, and this, I can almost guarantee, is going to go over 200,000. Trellborgs or Nokians, of course. Standards, wheel weights, wide tires with weights, wide tires, uh, narrow tires, rear twins, and full twins. 7719 is the base engine. Uh, 7722 adds 15,000 and makes it 177 kilowatts and 240 horsepower. 7726 adds 35,000 and makes it 206 kilowatts and 280 horsepower. The front loader attacher adds 1500 again and makes the maximum price for this tractor which looks completely dope i love the lighting setup on that it looks like a beast uh and makes the ma maximum price sorry two hundred eighteen thousand five hundred dollars interior of this is actually quite i'd say prestigious i guess i mean like i said it's very plain a lot of these tractors are but i love the um how I mean, I love the radio. That looks cool. And it, look at the radio. It actually says Giants FM, which is quite a cool little Easter egg you can see. Uh, the monitor is on that silver beam. I love that. And I like how it has two joysticks. Just one of my favorite medium tractors in the game. I love the engine. I like how it starts out and you're thinking, oh my goodness, this thing's going to sound awful. And then it has that roar after uh, the... Uh, it fires, and it's just like, oh my goodness, this thing sounds awesome. All the medium tractors, I believe, have bracketed duels. I don't like bracket duels very much. I like the hub duels. Now, I will tell you, the turn radius of this tractor is not good at all. That's one bad thing. Why can't you just find that one tractor? You love everything about it, and it's perfect. There's always one flaw with it, at least. Now we move on to the Fent. Sorry, I'm kind of moving quick. I mean, it's just that there's so many tractors I don't want to possibly go over my time limit of recording. 
But yeah, this is the Fent 700 Vario. Got the front PTO once again for mowing. I usually use it for. Rear PTO. I don't know what the heck all those are. Not sure if those are lights or if those are hydraulics. I doubt it. We have bracketed duels again. This is found in the ninth slot of this in-game store. Uh, 121 kilowatts, 165 horsepower, 400 liters of fuel, uh, 38 liters of depth, 31 mile per hour max speed, and $180,000 base price. Main color can be switched for an extra 3000 between Fent uh, Green and Fent Nature Green. Nature Green is just a little bit lighter, you can see. It looks almost like it's faded. Trelleborgs or Nokians. Trelleborgs are, of course, all the same ones, with twins being most expensive. 716 Vario to 720 Vario adds $17,500 and makes it 147 kilowatts to 200 horsepower. 724 Vario adds $37,500 and makes it 177 kilowatts and 240 horsepower. And that is the maximum. And once you add the price of the front loader for $1,500, it makes the maximum price for this $228,000. I love the sound of that engine. Inside, I really like it. I don't know what color of his seats are. I mean, it looks, to me, I'm sorry to say it, it looks black to me. But I love how they have the Fent logo on there. They do give me a cup holder. They're off the hook. Um, they got a nice monitor. You can actually see how there's actually writing on it, which looks really dope. Um, no sunroof. Radio on the side. I hate it when they don't put sunroofs on the tractors. But yeah, it, it is overall a very good tractor. I use this one for mowing very often. Now, the next one is the second uh, Case IH tractor of the medium in-game tractors. Now, you may say, hey, this is the Magnum. No, it is not. It is actually the smaller uh, size of the Magnum. This is the Puma series from Case IH. This is the CVX240. It's got, of course, the front PTO mowing, once again, uh, three point in the back, of course, bracketed duels. In here is in the tenth slot, 165 kilowatts, 225 horsepower, sorry, 390 liters of fuel to 48 liters of depth, 31 mile per hour max speed, and $188,000 base price. Trelleborgs or Nokians. Trelleborgs, uh, I'm not even going to go through them. They're all the same as normal. M uh, max price is on full twins. T CVX 185 to CVX 200 is 10,000. It makes it 180 kilowatts and 245 horsepower. 200, CVX 240 is $22,500 and makes it 199 kilowatts and 270 horsepower. After you add the front loader attacher, it is $218,000 maximum price. Now, you can see that. That's kind of odd. So the Fent Vario at its max price is a little bit more expensive than the Puma series at its max price. That's another one. That almost sounds like the Massey Ferguson, where you start it up and you're like, oh my goodness, this sounds like a, a wuss tractor, and then it just blows you away with the uh, roar afterward. I'm going to take this on a little bit more of a ride, just because uh, we're getting close to where um, the line is coming very close to where we park. But yeah, the interior, sorry, I didn't even show you, is very nice. Because this is much better, th sorry, I'm going to park, the Ma than the Maxim series, because it actually has, sorry, the brand tr color inside. I mean, look at that seat. That looks so awesome. Has a cup holder, thank God. Um, has the nice uh, joystick, monitor, radio, looks very cool. Um, I'm trying to see, does that say robot on the uh, radio? That sounds, that's kind of weird. I mean, I, I'm not really sure if it actually says that, but, but yeah, red seat and of course the red fire extinguisher. The first tractor in game to have a fire extinguisher inside. Yeah, very, overall a very, very nice tractor. Now we move on to one of the most popular medium tractors in game. This is the JCB Fast Track 4220. It's got a mower, or I guess a PTO on the front, which I just use for mowing, obviously. I've said that a lot. And it's got the three-point in the back. Now this is pretty much technically a four-wheel drive tractor, 
It's just crab steering, I guess, or all-wheel steering. I love the toolbox on the side. Everything about this tractor is awesome. If you go in, it's in the 11th slot right here. 175, 3 kilowatts, 235 horsepower, 390 liters of fuel to 45 liters of def. 38 mile per hour max speed, which I actually think the maximum speed is 40, which is, makes it the fastest in-game tractor. $196,000 base price. No engine sh changes. So 235 is the maximum horsepower. So it's not actually that strong. It's just very fast. This is a very good grain trailer or grain wagon trailer tractor. You know, you fill it up from your either your harvester, your truck, your auger wagon, or a silo. This is very good because of the speed to transport it to the cell points. Wheel brands, Trelleborg or Nokian. Uh, changes are a little bit different. You have either standard for 2,000, or wide tires for 2,000, sorry, or twin wheels for 6,000 with an extra of narrows for 1,000. Full twins, I don't like them that much. I would actually prefer just the wide tires. But when you add the front loader attacher, the maximum price for this is actually quite a bit cheaper than some of the medium tractors. It is $203,500. And just to mention, guys, see how the camera is moving? I'm not even touching my joystick and it's doing that. I actually have to stop it like that, and it will actually stop for me. It gets very annoying, especially when you're trying to uh, line something up just perfectly, especially like when I'm building or something. It will get me really screwed up. Very nice sounding. Now... I'm going to get this baby up to maximum speed. You can't drive the JCB Fast Track without trying to get it up to maximum speed. Because it is fast. I mean, look at this. You would not think a tractor goes this fast. Yeah, then we'll just pull right in to the part. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Second straight video where I get in a wreck. Because if you guys remember in my first video, I actually wrecked the Fent 500, I believe it was. But yeah, I love the speed of this tractor. It can get so fun just to drive this thing. It is so awesome. But yeah, pan almost a panel roof. I kind of just say it's almost a panel roof, even though it's not really close. But yeah, very fun tractor. That I can see why a lot of people say that this is their favorite. Now we move on to the final, which is the first of the prestigious deers. I'm going to turn this off because that kind of gets in the way. But yeah, the first of the prestigious deer tractors. This is the 6R series. I think this is 6230, 6250. Front PTO. Very great for mowing. This is my go-to tractor usually for mowing when I'm doing small-scale farming. Uh, rear linkage. You got actually f uh, four sets of hydraulics in there, which makes it very nice. I think there's even weights in the hitch back there. Those might be weights, but I'm not sure. This is in the 12th slot of the in-game slot count, and if you don't have mods, it would be in the last slot. 206 kilowatts and 280 horsepower, 470 liters of fuel, 31 mile per hour max speed, and finally, the first tractor to break 200,000 base price, and it actually breaks it by quite a bit. A third of 100,000 over $228,000 base price. 6230 R to 6250 is the only engine configuration change. Adds 10,000 and makes it 221 kilowatts and the first tractor to break 300,000 in my series uh, for 300 horsepower, exactly. Front loader attacher for 1500 and wheel setups you can either do standard, wide tires for 2000, twin wheels for 10,000 actually, the first to not be uh, 6,000. Uh, rear twins for 8,000, wheel weights for 1,200, wheel wide tires with weights for 3,000, and back to standard. So full twins adds 10,000, so making the base price almost fi I mean, 500,000, or $500 off of 250,000, quarter of a million dollars, 249,500 dollars, and it does actually have it looks like a the GPS system right there. Yes, I'm just climbing all over the hood of this brand new tractor. With the nice front loader attacher and grill guard. I love that grill guard on there. Now that is one of my favorite sounding deers, even though it's small.
Very nice. I know I'm spinning around. I apologize if I'm making anybody dizzy. But yeah, so that is the 6R interior. Very nice. I, I, it's funny. I get upset when the Case IH doesn't have red in it. But I don't get upset when the deer doesn't have green inside. Because honestly, I don't think a lot of green would look very nice inside one of these. That tan or beige or whatever you want to call it just looks really nice in here. Got a nice monitor, a lot of dials, a cup holder, of course. They don't have that cooler. I don't know why only the Case... Uh, what was it, the Maxim series or something that had that cooler inside? Or that box? Yeah, that thing. That box right back there. It's like, put some ice in that and put some Mountain Dew in it and you'd be great for in the field. But yeah, sorry guys. Thank you. Or thank you so much guys for watching. This has been my review of the Farming Simulator in-game medium tractors all the way from the K7210 7200 series. The T6 New Holland. The Maxim Case Styre Profi 42 or 4100, the 6M Deer, the Star ST Max 180, the Valtra T Series Massey Ferguson 7700, the Fent 700 Vario, the Case Puma, the JCB 4220, and the John Deere 6R. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, like. The video smash the like button down below all it takes is either a smash or just the slightest little tap of it and you will it supports my channel so much because once it gets liked it gets recommended by YouTube more and more and also if you have enjoyed both my videos and if you enjoy my garage in-depth garage review of farming simulator video by video please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell that says all if you do that, you will receive all my videos right as soon as they come out and all the videos that I may post in the future. But yeah, thanks guys so much for watching. I am the Lone Wolf, uh, and I will see you next time. Thanks guys.